We're back, guys, for your Draft Stars Thursday night. Big clash, 20,000 prize pool between the Rabbitohs and the Broncos here. And we're going to start in the outside backs. And we have a few guys to potentially select here. I think any of these top five, if you combine, combine them there, you've got Stag to 17,870 there, all the way down to Isaiah Tass at 12,130. So I think selecting one of the two of Stags and Graham would be a good idea. And getting a general idea of who you think is going to win this game, whether it be the Souths or the Broncos, is going to put you in good stead to be able to come out and actually win this one. So, you know, Graham, been super consistent, you know, a lot more consistent than what Staggs has been. Obviously, you see here, obviously, a low in the last five weeks of 33.7, where Staggs has a 25 in his game, uh, in, a, in a 33, in amongst some really big ones. So up to you, if you want to go a little bit more risk on with Staggs or a little bit more risk off with Graham, who's been absolutely improving each and every week. A little bit cheaper there with Herbie Farnworth at 14,470. Again, one of those guys you can get to, to plug in a sort of 45 there uh, and, and has that potential to go up. Obviously, if they uh, don't play as well, the Broncos, he might be out of it a little bit, but you know, that's a risk you're going to take. And that's something you know with Alex Johnson as well. If, if they you know, don't play so well, then he's not going to get those finishes uh, on the left edge there. Isaiah Tass is one of the interesting ones at 12 130, who I think has some potential to have that sort of middle of the round, middle of the run game around that 30 odd, and then has that upside like he had last week. Obviously, a try and a try assist if they play well. I just think he was uh, really dominant for a young fellow, and at 12,130, yeah, he's not, uh, you're not paying too much to find out. If you wanted to go that a little bit lighter, then Tamate Martin uh, would be a solid option as well. Obviously, not a great game last week, but it was really good the week before. So, if this is going to be a closer game, I think he can do all right for your squad. Okay, we move to the halves and the hookers in. We've got Cook and Reynolds there, 23-5-10 and 21-160 respectively. And both really, really solid guys. Obviously, Reynolds is someone I've been speaking about every week. That 52 now uh, was his lowest uh, of the year. And Cook's been someone who's super consistent. Getting, you know, if you, if you want to pay that two grand extra, you're probably going to get somewhere around that 60 mark. Uh, where Reynolds, you can probably get a 50 at a, at a minimum from him. So up to you. If you've got that bit extra money, I'd suggest go Cook. And if you don't, then Reynolds would be a great option there as well. Walker, much more improved player the last two weeks. I'm just not sure if you're going to get that kind of output this week, that's 73, or it's going to be more in that 30 to 40 range. So up to you. Again, if you want to take more of a risk, then Walker's going to be your man at that price. A little bit lighter, we've got guys like you know Billy Walters and Lockie Ilias in that 11,000 range now. Billy's probably a little bit too expensive. He had a great game last week, but I'm just not sure if he can produce that again, personally. Uh, and, and Lockie Ilias, you know, a bit up and down over the year. A couple of decent scores in the 40s, but generally you're getting somewhere in the 30s. And is that enough for you to have as your starting uh, half or hooker, or are you going to play them in the flex, for example? I think, you know, we can get a little bit of value out of our mids, and we'll go straight to those cheaper guys to start us off. And obviously Keenan Palacia is someone that I've been talking, you know, talking up heavily, and... For reasons that you know he's especially been really dominant without you know Payne Hassan the team a couple of 40s and a 38 over that you know a few weeks before after that you know shocker last week with 18.7 I think you can you know plug and play him again and and feel pretty safe with the scoring output with with Hass being out Corey Jensen another one of those guys I think could be really solid a 38.7 he had a 40 when Hass was out a couple of weeks ago uh, and he's pretty cheap as well Reese Kennedy also been going well and and really consistent with that lower minute so he's been someone that's got a 35 as a minimum in his last three. So again, there's so many of these Broncos forwards that you could select. And I think TC Rabadi as well, getting that start on the edge this week could score somewhere around that 40 mark at that 10,200 price point and has the ability to score a try as well. So they're definitely uh, some solid options for for your side in that cheaper price bracket. And we'll head back up to the top to finish off this video with guys like Cam Murray, who's obviously you know someone who's an absolute superstar. And that 55 last week was pretty well his low for the year. Uh, so he could be someone that's super consistent for you, and a minimum of about 55 there. Colin Matangi is getting really expensive now, but he's had some really dominant performances. You know, a 57.6, 63, and a 72, three of his last four games. He's someone that you know could definitely go out and score a try. He's going to be up against probably TC Rabadi actually on that left hand edge defense with Jordan Ricky on the other. So potentially another try coming his way. Up to you guys whether you think that he can. Carrigan's been uh been named to start this week, which is really cool. Just be interesting to see his kind of minutes as well. They obviously have the other guys who can have they showed in the, in the last bunch of weeks they can cover some of the the minutes slack that um that has left a, a couple of weeks ago. But you know Paddy's someone who's been really dominant over that first three games and obviously got injured when he was doing really well. So he's someone at sixteen thousand that you could plug in and hope that he gets that sixty plus minutes um you know, straight away and does well for your side. And obviously Flegler's just that other one there. 
that if he gets some bigger minutes, he could do really well also. So that's a 20,000 prize pool for that Rabbitohs-Broncos game on your Thursday night, guys. I wish you all the best of luck and gamble responsibly.